Welcome to Neurology News Network. I'm Matt Hoffman. Let's get into the news from this week. The FDA has given the go-ahead to Kiwakirin for istradefiline or Neuronase tablets as an add-on therapy to levodopa carbidopa in adults with Parkinson's disease who are experiencing off episodes. Ultimately, the selective adenosine A2A receptor antagonist's approval was based on its success in four clinical studies, which lasted 12 weeks and included more than 1,100 participants, in which statistically significant decreases from baseline in daily off time compared to placebo were observed. The FDA also approved a supplemental BLA for remobulum toxin B injection, or myoblock, in the treatment of chronic salary in, in adults. This adds to its existing approval for the treatment of cervical dystonia, which it received in 2000. The U.S. World Meds agent is the first and only bolinum toxin type B agent. In clinical trials, it showed significant decreases in salary of symptoms with a single treatment as soon as the first week, lasting for up to three months. Recent study findings suggest that in individuals who have played football with chronic traumatic encephalopathy, dementia is a result of neuropathologic alteration caused by repeated head impacts. These changes include worse white matter refraction and phosphorylated tau, and even non-head trauma like arteriosclerosis. The study, which consisted of 180 deceased men over the age of 40 years with CTE, also found that the number of years of football played was associated with worse white matter refraction and greater dorsolateral frontal cortex neurofibrillary tangles. For more direct access to expert insight, head to neurologylive.com. This has been Neurology News Network. Thanks for watching.